Hey, Tijesu Adeoye, TVC News, Abuja. Let's turn attention to Ondo State, where the funeral arrangements for governor of the, uh, former governor of the state, Rotimi Akere Delu, begins today with a winning soul crusade. The crusade is scheduled to hold at the MKO Abiola Democracy Park in Akure, the state capital. Former governor Akere Delu died in a hospital in Germany, where he was undergoing treatment for prostate cancer on the 26th of December 2023. And during his tenure as governor, Mr. Akere Delu prioritized the welfare of the people and delivered dividends of good governance with tangible benefits. In the face of protracted insecurity that plagued the Southwest, with the menace of killer herdsmen terrorizing and abducting innocent citizens, the former governor fearlessly stood at the forefront, defended the rights of the people with unflinching courage and res resilience. A correspondent in Ondo State, Ayode Jimorade, joined, uh, joined me early on the news and spoke of activities lined up in the state to ensure a befitting burial for the former governor. Governor's final burial will be done in three states. Uh, we are starting in Nondo State with uh, a crusade today, and tomorrow we, there will be a Jumat service. And from there, we move to your state where some programs have been lined up. His uh, old students are uh, organizing a program for him at Loyola College in Itadon. And from there, we're also going to do some programs in Oshun State, especially at the Bathemi Awolowo University in Lefe, where as his old student will also uh, organize a program for him. Don't forget that they attended Obafemi Awolowo University. And also, they will now move to Ndo State, where we have many programs lined up that will be a hot session in his honor. And we move uh, to his hometown, Owo, where we will have a Jabui traditional rite for the governor. And on Friday, we were buried, and we are expecting dignities from all walks of life, including the number one. Uh, personality in Nigeria uh, to grace this all important event. We are expecting governors from the Southwest to also be in attendance. It's going to be uh, a celebration of, of life because this was a, a man who stood for, 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 for greatness, who introduced Amon Tepo into the system. So people are going to come to and celebrate him. And trust us, uh, TVC will be there like to give you what uh, is going to happen uh, in some of these places. So it's going to be the celebration of life, a man who served the state very well. And now to other stories. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency um, has warned of prolonged excessive heat, and that's due to intensifying heat waves with temperatures soaring up to 41 degrees Celsius in the north and 39 degrees Celsius in the south. They announced this on their official X page where they stated the implications of the weather and advised the public on how to manage the situation.